Kenyans had made arrangements for Wednesday's latest round of protests organized by the opposition. The nationwide demonstrations called for the government to lower the cost of living. They were also aimed at forcing President William Ruto to repeal the law imposing new taxes. In Nairobi, some hoped the marches would make a difference. The protest we are having on weekly basis is going to bring a change because the advice surrounding the president are not telling the truth. Now I think even if the president will going to sit down in his house, even late in night, because he's very busy, he will be able to see news and see the suffering of his people. However, the demonstrations meant bad news for business owners. Many had shut doors ahead of the protests. Some are concerned over the loss of lives and destruction of property. It is the third time this month that opposition leader Raila Odinga has staged mass rallies. I would really ask that the protests stop. We need to give the president time to deliver on his promises. Yeah, definitely it's affecting our business, the sector, because people are afraid, like today, they are, they are indoors, eh? Eh? because they are fearing, because there is insecurity. Christian and Muslim religious leaders have called for dialogue between the government and the opposition to end the protests. President Ruto campaigned to bring prices down and has been criticized for not keeping his word once in office. At least 12 people were wounded in Wednesday's countrywide protests.